We asked Toto's Steve Lukather how he comes up with so many original inventive riffs. At his age, after all these years, he's still one of the best. I'm John Bunn from rockhistorymusic.com. You know, it's amazing when I was reviewing Toto 14 a few years ago at 2015, I felt like the Joker in that Michael Keaton first Batman film where he's saying, where does he get all those great toys or whatever, I'm paraphrasing. But I felt the same way, I'm going, where does he get all these guitar riffs? I mean, seriously, no one who has gone through and has been in music as long as he has can do what he does today. It's amazing. I mean, he's playing like a kid who's like the greatest guitarist in the world, which begs the question, where do you get the ideas for these guitar riffs? Where do they come from? His answer was interesting. It just sort of comes, you know, and my hands fall into the right place at the right time. The other thing is like when you've been in a band with guys for almost 45 years, if you count high school, it's really hard to impress them, you know what I mean? <laughs> They've heard all the shit I can play, so I'm always pushing myself to play things that are not obvious. I mean, I sort of went through the speed demon thing, which didn't really work for me. I mean, you know, and uh, I also went through a lot of other negative things that didn't work for me. You, know, you <laughs> add that all together, and it turned into a guy that was kind of lost for a while. I do apologize for that, but uh, it's, this life is not for everybody, and it's pretty strange to be in it for 40 years. So as I grew out of that and also, you know, got my soul back, um, I have kind of really fell fall in love with playing again and also what my strongest points are, poor, I'm sorry, my strongest points are as a player is just playing more, more interesting phrasing and interesting choices of notes, which is what I've done on the new stuff. I mean, there's some pretty cool stuff on there that I'm proud of that came very easily. Back to first take solos and stuff like that, rather than doing 20 takes and, you know, having something put together. Uh, I really wanted it to be a little bit more real, and also uh, I stayed away from trying to impress my guitar friends, you know, mm -hmm. and play more for what's what I think is the coolest thing for the song and not sound like everybody else. Unfortunately, we live in a time with the Internet where, you know, there's a lot of great guitar players, but they're starting to become a certain sameness to everybody because yeah. everybody's learning the same licks. Mm -hmm. uh, not to say that's bad, I mean, obviously the, the cream rises to the top, but, you know, it, in generic guitar playing, there's a lot of sameness, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Uh, and I'm going back to, like, what, what, what set me apart, what made me a little different, and I started playing like that again, but in a 2017 version of it, and I'm much more comfortable in my own skin than I, I'm not scared about being 60 years old. I'm actually welcoming it, going, I've survived a lot of shit, and now I can sit back and enjoy life, you know? I can yeah. enjoy my family. I can enjoy my work. I love I love my work, you know? I'm, I'm single. I don't have any hang-ups there, so my kids get my free time, or I'm on the road, and I, I take care of a lot of people, and I'm okay with this. This is a really comfortable time in my life, and I'm feeling very relaxed and excited about things. We'll have a lot more from our interview with Luke Steve Lukather in the next few days. Remember, Toto was going off on a big tour right until September 16th in Atlantic City. Go to TotoOfficial.com for tickets and VIP passes. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you share our videos, subscribe to our channel, and uh, check out our other videos. we got tons of them. And also our Twitters and Facebooks in the description of this video. Take good care of yourself.